Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is Anastasia McDonald live in Ukraine in my best mentor in the whole wide world's house, Dr. Sandy Adelaja. Um, I thought I would come to you. Um, perhaps most of you may be sleeping, but I hope if you are sleeping then you can catch up with the replay um i thought to come out live here because something has been happening right <laughs> so i'm live here at dr sandy adelaja's house good morning russia white <laughs> good morning how are you let me see if i can get proper light in here lovely to see you <laughs> good morning i wanted to do um a live broadcast to talk about the beautiful majesty of daddy god through uh his creation nature so i'm live here at dr sunday daddy's house and he has as you know queen rochelle beautiful trees surrounding his home and you know i've just been looking at these trees since i came here and you know what i'm just filled in i'm just filled with awe at the the majesty of his presence. Um, I'm just going to do a, a 360. I hope we can see it. Uh, the trees there. And you know, the wind is blowing through the trees. The wind is rustling. I don't know if you can hear the sound of the trees. So I've just been looking at these trees and I'm looking at how tall they are. <clears throat> I'm looking at how tall these trees are. So I'll do a 360 there for you to see. Uh, Hopefully I can get some good lighting. I'm not the best of what you call there we go. There we go. And so there's a lot of wind blowing through the trees. And I'm looking at the height of these trees. And you know what comes to me is that um as you look upwards, your 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 mind is being drawn towards his majesty and his presence. Your mind is lifted upwards rather than downwards. Your mind is lifted up to, towards him and your mind begins to be set on him. I believe that God did not create trees haphazardly. He created them to speak about him. You know, look at the trunks of this tree. I don't know whether you can see them, but um, let me see if I can find good, uh, good positioning. Um, I don't know where you can hear the sound, but um, look at the size of these, uh, the trunks of the trees. They are, they are massive. Look at how strong they are. The trees are strong, they are robust, they are, they are firmly rooted in the ground. All these are, are symbolic of how, how God wants us to be rooted firmly in Him. Look at how luscious they are, they're green. You know, um, they're beautiful to look at. Not just beautiful to look at, but um, but there's something that speaks of these trees. These trees, to me, at this present moment, are worshiping God. They are free in themselves. You know, they're just being themselves. They're just being. They're being who God has created them to be. And they are just worshiping God in the wind so why can't i just be me just be me the me that daddy god has created me to be and to be free to worship him look at how they are surrendered to um the wind they just surrender to the wind and they creation is just enjoying itself and it's just flowing just flowing flowing with the wind why can i why can't i just embrace who i am and just flow flow with the wind of the holy spirit wherever he will lead me the bible says that those who are <clears throat> pardon me pardon me <laughs> those who are led by the spirit they are the sons of god so we want to be able to flow with him and just be just go where he wants us to be we should never be hindered by all the things that we allow you know to hinder us so I'm just out here. <laughs> Julie Joy, there's Julie, look at her. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> so 
I am just um, out here enjoying the trees. I'm looking upwards. Um, this is my fourth time of being in Ukraine, and I've never looked at the trees in the way that I have uh, done since I came. There's lots of trees around here, and you can see I'm looking upwards. They are just beautiful. They're just gorgeous. You know, we need to spend time to pause, to reflect, um, to take time out, to look at creature, creation and creature and to admire, admire the beauty of God, the majesty of God. We should learn to, to yeah, to, like um, Dr. Sander Dennis has been teaching us, like have solitude. So solitude doesn't mean that you have to go to a faraway place. So you can just come out wherever you are and just take a moment, a moment with that God and just to be with him in the moment. Be with him in that moment and just look around you, look around you, see what is there, what, what, creation is there what nature is there do you see flowers do you see trees do you see birds do you whatever what what do you see and just take a moment and just begin to relish relish just be with him be with daddy god and enjoy his creation you know it's such it's so beautiful it's so gorgeous i'm thinking of the mind of god i'm thinking why why so high you know why so green and um, I'm, I'm just in awe here. So, <laughs> so this is just a brief, <laughs> a brief moment I just wanted to share with you, uh, with the majesty of trees and um, and God Himself. I think He is beautifully amazing. And I'm just thinking of you know the mind, the mind of the creation. Good morning, Queen Emmy. <laughs> I'm talking about trees, the trees, beautiful trees that are here in Ukraine in Dr. Sandy Adelica's house and um, they're just so beautiful, so tall, so strong, so green and I'm looking upwards and I'm just thinking about Daddy God. You know, I'm, I'm this little child looking out, looking at my daddy's creation, you know, I'm just looking and admiring and enjoying and I'm thinking what a daddy, what a daddy God. So I mean, I just want to encourage you uh, take time out and enjoy the presence of God. Look around you. What do you see? What points you to Daddy God? How can you worship Him? How can you just be with Him in the moment? How can you enjoy His presence? How can you just be you? How can you have a friendly chat with Him? How can you just, you know, just hang out with Him and and enjoy Him? You know, but um, He is just amazing. Daddy God is just, He is extravagant. He is, I mean, I can't, I can't even find the words for him. He is just beautiful. I mean, wish God would create such lovely trees for us to enjoy. You know, he could have created the world with nothing, actually. He, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't owe us, or he, you know, he doesn't owe us, but because he loves us and he wants, to, he wants us to see the, the, the manifold side of him, so he creates all kinds of things, all manner all shapes, all colors, all textures. What a daddy, what a God, what an extravagant God, you know, and he's given us eyes to see, to enjoy. I'm just full of awe, and this place is so beautiful. So for those of you who've never been to Ukraine, I just want to encourage you that um, HMT is coming on in November. I don't have the dates, but it isn't if you call, um, if you send a name to guest embassy, uh, get uh, sorry, <laughs> guestembassy.org. Sorry, I'll, I'll post the link there. Um, but um, you need to come to HMT in November and come and experience this beautiful place. I've just finished um, training trainer here and I am so overwhelmed. Good morning, <laughs> Pastor Reen, How are you? <laughs> Good morning, Pastor Reen. So lovely to see you. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, so that's me just showing my moment here in Ukraine. <laughs> in Ukraine with these lovely trees of Daddy G. Have a wonderful morning. I will catch up you catch up with you later. And um, yeah, so have a lovely morning. Okay. Bye.